Question 1. What is workflow and what are the benefits of using Oracle Workflow? Answer. Oracle Workflow is a graphical tool that allows you to create, track and modify business process embedded in the Oracle database server. It can monitor the workflow activity statuses. Benefits. Create a clear business process definition. Automate the business routings. Monitor the process. Allow users to define their own business process to suit their organization needs. Readily change the business process definitions in case of a change business process. Question 2. What are the steps involved in Oracle Workflow? Answer. Design and create a workflow using Oracle Workflow Builder. Start the Oracle Workflow process from Place SQL. Integrate Oracle Workflow with Place SQL for validation and DML ETC. Build Oracle Workflow notifications. Attach roles, people to notifications in Oracle Workflow. Question 3. How do you send a particular Oracle app's workflow activity function within a workflow process into background mode? Answer. If cost of the workflow activity is greater than 50, then the workflow activity will be processed in background mode only, and it won't be processed in online mode. Question 4. What are the various ways to kick off a workflow? Answer. You can either use wf underscore engine dot str underscore process or you can attach a runnable process such that it subscribes to a workflow event. Question 5. Which work engine API should you use to begin execution of an activity? Answer. Start process. The start process API begins the execution of an activity. The create process API creates a new runtime process for an item. The resume process API resumes a suspended item. The begin activity determines if the specified activity may currently be performed on the item. Question 6. What job does the set item user key API perform? Answer. Set the user friendly identifier for an item. The set item user key API is used for setting a user friendly identifier for an item. Question 7. Can you send blob attachments via workflow notifications? Answer. Yes, you can send blob attachments. Question 8. When will an activity be deferred in Oracle Workflow? Answer. Activity cost. Workflow engine threshold activity is deferred when the activity cost is greater than the workflow engine threshold. If the activity cost equals zero or if the activity cost is less than the workflow engine threshold, the activity will become active. Question 9. What is the primary purpose of a Oracle workflow? Answer. Routes information, sends notifications, defines process rules. The primary purposes of a workflow are to route information, send notification, and define process rule. Although some history is maintained automatically by Oracle workflow, it will not be considered as creating audit trails. Question 10. How will you define the possible results of an activity in order to drive different transitions? Answer. As lookup codes for a lookup type you define the possible results of an activity to drive different transitions using lookup codes for a lookup type. You cannot use item attributes. Separating the activity into two does not make sense since you want to drive two transactions with the same activity, but with two result codes. A process activity will not help in this scenario. Question 11. Timeout parameters apply to which activity in Oracle workflow? Answer. Notification a timeout parameter only applies to a notification activity since the timeout parameters are used to measure when a notification expires. It does not apply to a function activity or a process activity. Question 12. What will solicit responses from a notification activity? Answer. Having a respond message attribute. Having a respond message attribute will solicit responses from a notification activity. The display name will become the prompt and the description will be the instruction. Nothing else, such as a timeout parameter, a performer, or a send message attribute, will have an effect in soliciting responses. Question 13. Which work engine API should you use to begin execution of an activity in Oracle Workflow? Answer. Start process. The start process API begins the execution of an activity. The create process API creates a new runtime process for an item. The resume process API resumes a suspended item. The begin activity determines if the specified activity may currently be performed on the item.
Question 14. Which implementation process group comes before the product family processes? Answer. Common application processes. Common application processes come before the product family processes, which come before product specific processes. Common financial is one of the product family processes. It does not come before product family processes. Question 15. What is the proper format for an internal name in the workflow builder component? Answer. An internal name for a workflow builder component must be in uppercase, have no spaces, and be unique within item type. Question 16. Which of the following statements is true? Answer. A user must be a role. A role cannot be created in the workflow builder. Having one active responsibility is not a requirement for a user to be a role. A role can have more than one user. Question 17. Which component in Oracle workflow is the graphical interface for workflow processes? Answer. The workflow builder in Oracle workflow is the graphical interface for workflow processes. The workflow engine drives items through workflow processes. The workflow monitor allows you to view and monitor workflow process instances and the workflow definitions loader load workflow definitions from a text file or database. Question 18. When do you need a selector for an item type? Answer. When you have more than one process associated with an item type, you need a selector to select a process. You use the role resolution standard activity to perform role resolution. Voting is another standard activity. Multiple result codes drive different transitions, but this is not related to the selector. Question 19. What does the workflow engine do when a function activity has finished? Answer. The workflow engine issues a save point when a function activity is completed. The workflow engine never issues a commit. The calling application issues a commit. The workflow engine does not generate a log file or notify users. Question 20. What is the primary purpose of a workflow? Answer. Routes information, sends notifications, defines process rules. The primary purposes of a workflow are to route information, send notification, and define process rule. Although some history is maintained automatically by Oracle workflow, it will not be considered as creating audit trails.